Welcome back to another episode of YOLO, You Only Live Once. My name is Cyril Lachelle, and today we're going to see how far I can get in Rockman Battle and Fighters in a single life. This was originally released for the SNK Neo Geo Pocket Color, but sadly never made it west. This is a series known for its extreme difficulty, so I don't expect much from this episode of YOLO. But uh, let's just do this. I don't read Japanese, so we're just going to choose the top option here and uh, hope for the best. Looks like we can choose between the two arcade games, and uh, here we have the option of Rockman, Proto Man, and Bass. Uh, let's just stick with Mega Man or uh, Rockman for this session. Uh, I'm just going to stick with Mega Man 1 and 2 for now, just start at the top. Instead of choosing which level we want, this thing just kind of zips around the screen and we, we stop at where we want to go. Uh, we're going to start with Woodman, which uh, was from Mega Man 2. So basically what this is, is a game that reduces Mega Man down to just one-on-one -on -one battles. It ditches all of the difficult side-scrolling uh, you know, action stuff with all the platforming and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, so all we're doing here is basically fighting the different uh, bosses from Mega Man 1 and 2. Um, and we're going to collect their power, and we can still uh, choose their, their power going against other, other characters. But this first guy is not too, not too bad, um, as you can see. I'm just about to beat him. And there we go. Alright, as we load up the next opponent, let's take a little time to talk about the games in this collection. Uh, this comes with both Mega Man The Power Battle and Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters, uh, which were both Japanese arcade games... Uh, the first game came out all the way back in 1995, and then the sequel uh, one year later in 96. This collection found its way to the Neo Geo Pocket Color uh, in 2000, so just a few years later. Here we have Iceman from the original Mega Man. Unfortunately, I don't have a fire weapon, so, you know, it's not going to be an easy fight. But uh, I, what I really like is how they've detailed all of the backgrounds to, to feature little cameos and things from other Mega Man games. Uh, it looks really spectacular. Even the animation is really nice. Uh, notice when I when I kill Iceman here in just a moment, uh, the animation. Uh, he has a really cool look. All of them. Have, oh, well, we may not be able to see it because he's going to be off screen. That's another problem with this game is that a lot of the you can fight a lot of these battles off screen. Unfortunately, I can't move the screen or anything like that, so it's it's stuck where it is. Believe it or not, there is a story here. Dr. Wily has rebuilt his robot army and plans on taking over the world or something like that. It's, it's a pretty basic story. He didn't have enough time, unfortunately, to uh, rebuild all the stages, so we're left with these simplistic one-on-one -on -one battles. By the way, this is Cut Man from the first Mega Man. Just look at all the details in the background, from the satellite to the moon to it looks like a, a castle or a, I don't know, maybe a mountain or something with a face. I, it just looks incredible. And uh, especially for a handheld game, for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. None of these battles have been all that difficult, especially considering it's a Mega Man game. I mean, look at here, I have almost full life, and you know, I've barely lost on any of the first three. For you guys, maybe, maybe that'll change going forward. Let's not jinx ourselves. Although this version of the game never came out in the United States, the two arcade games did find their way to other platforms. Uh, both games were packaged with Capcom's Mega Man Anniversary Collection, uh, which was released back in 2004. Uh, for those keeping track, that's 17 years after the first game came out on the Nintendo Entertainment System. What kind of anniversary is that? Alright, so let's take a look at some of the weapons that we've picked up and see if we can beat Guts Man with these. We have a Leaf Shield here, a Rolling Cutter, uh, the Ice Slasher. Uh, let's try the Leaf Shield. Let's just go with the, the first one here. It's not doing a whole heck of a lot. Uh, how about the rolling cutter? Oh, I like that gray and white on it. All right, that, that's not too bad. Though that... Boy, I don't have a lot of that. Okay, let's, let's just go back to the, the regular shot here. and uh, let's, He only has one or two more, more good... All right, there's, there we go. Win! You know, I don't know how other people feel, but I've always felt that the one-on-one -on -one battles were the worst part of the Mega Man series. You know, I love the weapons I earn, but I'd much rather go through the, the platforming section. They're much more interesting. Uh, that said, uh, there actually is a lot of potential for a Mega Man fighting game if it's done correctly. 
but it really should be much more than just recycled boss fights with a new background. Oh, this is Heatman from Mega Man 2. I know how to beat this guy. Let's, uh, let's go and select the Ice Slasher attack I got from Iceman. Now, using the right weapon was always a big deal in the original series, but it hasn't been that important here. Uh, most of these bosses uh, have been easy to take down with just my Charge Blast. All right, hold on, we almost got him. Just one more, okay, okay. There we go, all right. Next level time. On to the final regular stage, I do believe, then I think it's Wily. Oh, I've been seeing these messages pop up. I have no clue what they mean, but I'm sure it's nothing important. All right, folks, uh, the one guy standing between me and Dr. Wily is Crash Man. You probably remember this guy from his time in Mega Man 2, which is arguably the best Mega Man game. Uh, I'm coming in with a big disadvantage, though, as uh, I don't have much life left. Maybe all these weapons can help me out. Well, that super arm didn't do much good. Maybe this leaf shield. No, that's, that's not going to work either. Uh, maybe the cutter. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, see the screen flash? I, I think that means that this is his weakness. Not sure what I think about all these shoots. Oh, well, hey, I have a wall jump. Oh, this is coming down to the wire. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this out. Oh! Well, there you have it, folks. That was Rockman Battle and Fighters for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I actually managed to get real far, and uh, this might actually be the longest episode yet. Thank you again for watching this episode of YOLO, and don't forget to subscribe, and feel free to head over to defunctgames.com for more reviews, articles, videos, comedy pieces, and more. Seriously, go, go, go! We'll be back next week with another episode. See you then.